The iconic Kyusu teapot has basically become a symbol for Japanese green tea. Thanks to its unique design, it has become a favorite among Japanese tea drinkers, but there is even more features than you previously thought. In this video, we're going to talk about the Kyusu teapot, the different types of Kyusu teapots, and how to use the Kyusu teapot. Before we get started, it would really mean a lot to us if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the thumbs up button so you can see more like it in the future. If you would prefer to read about this topic, we have a great blog article on our website, neotees.com. We'll put the link in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. What is a Kyusu teapot? The word kyusu simply means teapot, but often when people use the word, they refer to a specific type. The side handle kyusu teapot is the most common and most famous of the Japanese teapots, so that is mostly what we're going to be talking about today. This teapot is usually made out of clay, and it comes primarily in the colors red and black, although it can come in a variety of other colors as well. The teapot usually has a built-in filter made out of either clay or metal, which automatically sifts out the tea leaves as you pour. This clay teapot is designed to prepare the perfect cups of Japanese green tea and soon we're going to discuss why that is. Before we talk about the benefits of the Japanese Kyusu teapot, let's briefly discuss the different kinds of teapots. One way to break down the teapots is by colors. First we have the red Kyusu teapots. These orange-red Kyusu teapots are made from unoxidized clay. The most sought-after clay used to make this teapot is from Tokoname, a small town in Japan. This clay is thick and can hold liquid even when it's unglazed. It's also less porous so the flavor isn't absorbed by the clay itself, making the tea taste milder. The Tokoname Kyusu is well sought after and they are considered to be the Best. We also have the black Kyusu teapot. This black Kyusu teapot is made out of red clay fired in an oxygen rich environment. The clay turns colors when it's oxidized and it produces this sleek black color. This requires extra work in the production process as well as an extra firing in the kiln, and as a result, black teapots tend to be more expensive than red teapots, all else being equal. Another way to break down the teapots is by the filter that they use. First, we have the metal filter in the Kyusu teapot. This is a great filter for beginners and it works for a lot of different tea types. When it comes to Fukumushi senches, you will definitely prefer a metal sifter over a clay one. The reason for this is that during the deep steaming process, the tea leaf breaks down and the smaller leaf fragments can clog the filter quite easily. If you have this circular metal filter, Filter built into the teapot, water will just move around the leaves and pour easily into the cup. The downside of the metal filter is that it may slightly interfere with the taste of the tea. Some connoisseurs of Japanese green tea prefer not to use metal at all in the tea brewing process, as it can interfere with the subtle taste characteristics of the tea. If you are not a picky tea drinker, the metal filter is likely the right choice. Next we have the clay filter in the Kyusu teapot. When you see a clay filter inside a Kyusu teapot, chances are that it was hand carved into the teapot. This process is very labor intensive and can make the Kyusu teapot much more expensive. The benefit is that the tea leaves you brew with are in contact with nothing other than the clay and the water. This leads to a slight improvement in flavor, particularly with gyokuro. A third way to differentiate the Kyusu teapots is by the glaze. First we have unglazed Kyusu teapots. These Kyusu teapots are made without a layer of glaze, so rather than the tea being in contact with a glass-like surface, they are in contact with the clay itself. Some serious tea drinkers report having a richer savory flavor when brewing gyokuro in an unglazed teapot. Another benefit of these unglazed teapots is that they can be seasoned with a particular tea and boost the flavor profiles of that tea every time it's brewed. Next we have the glazed kyusu teapot. These teapots are better for beginners because they provide more neutrality. If you bring one particular type of tea over and over again, you may want to get an unglazed teapot, but if you're brewing multiple types of teas, a glazed teapot is the best option. You can go from brewing hojicha to sencha with just a quick rinse in between, and the flavors will not not interfere with one another. If you're investing in just one Kyusu teapot for all of your teas, it's best to make it a glazed one. Finally, Kyusu teapots come in different sizes. First we have the large Kyusu teapots. These larger clay teapots have a capacity of around 400 milliliters of water. They are still small compared to western style teapots, but considering that it takes only 150 milliliters to brew a pot of Japanese green tea, these teapots have plenty of space. If you're going to be preparing tea for multiple people, you may want to go for a larger capacity Kyusu teapot and use slightly more water. If you're planning on just brewing green tea for your Itself, we recommend using less water to really concentrate the flavor of the tea. Finally, we have small Kyusu teapots. The smaller Kyusu teapots have a capacity of about 200 milliliters of water. This may seem like it's too small for brewing tea, but when it comes to premium Japanese green tea, you really want to concentrate the flavor into a smaller space. This smaller teapot is the perfect size for that, and because it's so small, it maintains a light and compact design that's very elegant to pour. What is the history of the Kyusu teapot? The Japanese Kyusu teapot actually originated in China, but like many other things related to tea, it eventually made its way over to Japan. At the time, the most common way to consume tea in Japan was in powdered form. This primitive form of matcha was made by grinding dried tea leaves into a powder and then mixing it into hot water. This type of tea was popularized because of its use in the Japanese tea ceremony, a ritual of tea preparation that follows a strict set of rules and principles. Some began to desire a simpler way to enjoy tea, without all the rules of the Japanese tea ceremony. A farmer by the name Nagatani Soen came along and 
developed a new method of tea production. He discovered that by steaming, rolling, and drying the tea leaves, the flavor could be locked in for a longer time. These dried leaves could then be infused into water and strained out to create a translucent tea called sencha. Soon, sencha became the most popular type of tea consumed in Japan, and the Kyusu teapot became a household item to infuse the tea leaves and prepare delicious cups of sencha tea. Now the clay teapot is still the tool of choice for tea shops and restaurants all across Japan. What are the benefits of the Kyusu teapot? The side-handled Kyusu teapot has many benefits to it. First, the side handle is hollow, so it doesn't retain as much heat as the rest of the pot. This really helps when it comes to pouring the tea, as it stays cool to the touch, even when you add hot water at the base of the Kyusu teapot. The side handle of the Kyusu teapot also allows you to pour with more refined movements. With those large cast iron teapots, not only are they extremely heavy, but they also require you to move your entire arm in order to pour them. With the Kyusu teapot, all it takes is a simple turn of the wrist to pour the tea into the cup. Finally, the teapot itself provides the leaves more space, which is really important when it comes to preparing loose leaf tea. When you brew tea inside a strainer, the tea leaves are cramped inside and they really aren't able to open up fully and release their flavor. This problem is even worse when it comes to tea bags, as they have even less space to move when brewing. The wide base of the Kyusu teapot gives the leaves the space Space they need and allows you to create richer, more flavorful infusions. How do you use a Japanese Kyusu teapot? Now that we know a little bit about the Kyusu teapot, let's talk about how to use it. When it comes to preparing a cup of Japanese green tea, all you need to do is follow a few simple steps. Step 1. Add 5 grams of leaves to the base of your Kyusu teapot. If you don't have a scale at home, you can use approximately 1 heaping tablespoon of tea leaves. Step 2. Add in 150 milliliters of warm water. When it comes to the temperature, you will want to use 60 degrees Celsius, 140 degrees Fahrenheit for gyokuro and some sweeter senches, and 70 degrees Celsius, 160 degrees Fahrenheit for other types of Japanese green teas. Step 3. Let the teapot sit with the lid on for about one minute. When it comes to gyokuro, you may want to wait a full two minutes. This tea is tightly rolled into these needle shapes and they may need a full two minutes to open up. Fukumushi senses tend to have smaller leaf particles and they often only need 45 seconds to brew. Step four, pour the tea out into a cup. The built-in filter will automatically sift out the leaves as you pour and stop the infusion at the perfect time. If you're pouring tea for multiple people, you may want to alternate the pouring. The most flavorful tea will be poured out last, so you'll want to divide this evenly between guests so everyone gets the same flavor. Where can you buy a Kyusu teapot? You can find Kyusu teapots all over our website. We currently have a few different types. There are the red Tokonami Kyusu teapots, the black Tokonami Kyusu teapots, and the Fukumushi teapot. The red teapots and the Fukumushi teapot have a built-in metal filter, while the black Tokonami Kyusu has a built-in clay filter. This makes the first two a better choice for beginners, and the black Tokonami Kyusu a good choice for more experienced tea drinkers. If you would like to get a free Kyusu teapot, we will send you one when you sign up for the monthly tea club. With this offer, you get two new packs of tea delivered every Every month at a 16% discount. This is a great way to try different kinds of teas and save money. Again, it would also really mean a lot to us if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for future tea videos. If you have any questions about green tea, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until then, we'll see you next time.